Okay, so this was another strange arena run that I've come across that I really did not expect to go this way, but ended up being kind of a strange run. So the idea was to go for 5 Bison. Bison's just a great unit if you have a level 3, of course, and sometimes like I occasionally make the mistake, I feel like everyone does, where they accidentally sell their level 3 when they have a Bison, and that's pretty tragic, but of course, you know, uh, that that doesn't even matter in this run. I guess that's a bit of a spoiler, but I'm pretty sure I spoiled it in the title, unless if I changed my mind about what the title is. But yeah, so I got a bunch of bice in this run, and then just didn't have a level 3, and it worked anyway. So I don't know how that ended up working, but you know, like, sometimes the base stats on bison is already pretty decent. Like, it's a 6-6, six, six. that's, uh, I think the highest tier 4, probably. I haven't really thought about this. I should maybe like check before I say these things. But yeah, pretty good base stats. It's really like an 8-8 if you immediately have a level 3. And if you can get one on turn 5 when you have a level 3, then you have a like an 8-8 on turn 5. It's going to be like a 12-12 on turn 7. That can just be a very nice advantage. Um, anyway, this is pretty much the perfect start. I don't really know how it could honestly be any better than this, but... I got a level 2 otter and then two level 2 fish for a level 3 fish that we're going to get the next turn. And yeah, so this is pretty much like the perfect start, I think. Who knows? I mean, I haven't really done the math or anything. I've just played this game for like a thousand hours. <laughs> early deer is not as good as early bison, but it's still a very good unit and I'll definitely take it. I think it helps out a lot when you get an early deer and... Deer in general is usually just worth taking. One thing that like can win the mid-game quite often is going Parrot Deer, because then you have two buses plus you have a 6-3 that spawns that bus. It's just a... Uh, like, the splash attack is guaranteed 5 damage, so it's really like spawning a 10-5 that also has the possibility to like, pop melon. It's so good. So yeah, Deer probably at least an A-tier unit right now. And then I can take a Ox gives that ox extra plus two attack and then I just decide to buy an apple because I don't know what else I would want I could roll for like level two badger or level two ox decided not to do that though sometimes it's worth it just for the potential for penguin but uh, if I did try to level up both of them that would be a lot of gold invested and by the time I get those things to level two it would probably be like turn nine or ten already who knows anyway there's bison I almost rolled past it, honestly, like, I say bison's good, but it's not, like, broken or anything. It There's definitely better scalers than the bison. It's like a free pair every turn, right? But uh, the monkey gives plus two, plus three. Penguin can give, like, plus four, plus four. You know, just better scalers in the end. But it's free scaling, and if you have a level three that is going to stick around, it's usually worth taking. But a lot of times you want to sell your level 3 because it has no ability because it's probably a tier 1. Unless if you really get lucky, maybe you can get like a level 3 Dodo or Swan. Swan's probably the much better option, but that's going to happen pretty infrequently. So I'm pretty much just rolling for Chocolate or Bison. Or wait, no. There's no Chocolate on turn 8. I'm just rolling for Bison, I guess, because I was all in on the Bison. And it's already scaling pretty nicely. 10-10 with Melon. And we already have a 1920 fish. I don't even know how that fish got so big. I guess it was the otters and the giraffe. I guess that kind of does it. And now we can find chocolate, so I can go for level 2 bison. Bison's also one of those units where you pretty much never want to go for level 3 bison. Unless, like, I don't know, the game gives it to you and you want to sell your level 3. Then I guess it can be worth it. But for the most part, you're going to hit 50-50 pretty fast with bison already. And so you don't need the extra, you know, plus two, plus two. Like getting plus six, plus six per turn. It's pretty minimal difference. And you're investing nine gold. Usually you're going to be wanting to buy like chocolate or other units or like level up, I don't know, your scalers or something. So yeah, I normally don't go for level three bison. But we've already got three. Pretty nice. And I'm actually, I'm just winning too quickly. At this point, I realized, wait a second, I've won every single round. I could get a perfect win here if I don't lose. So let's try to lose. Let's sell my level three. Who needs that? And then let's just get another bison in there. And hopefully I can lose this round so I can get this level three bison pretty quick and then have an entire team of bison that is all going to be scaling at the same time. 
and so I'm hoping I lose this round, but then I go against a level 3 ant and a blowfish team, and unfortunately, I end up winning! I didn't even mean to get this perfect win. Like, I've gotten so many at this point that I don't even care about getting turn 10 wins, but I guess that's kind of nice. So yeah, very strange game where I tried to throw and kind of failed. But anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.